wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Alright, what's up everybody? My name is Gummy Worm Jim. Welcome to Grand Theft Auto 3. What what's going on? What what's up, dude? Oh shit. Hey fool's got some business upstairs. Or maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girl. So keep your hand on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get All out right. of here. Sounds good. We're already working for the Mafia. Let's do this. <clears throat> so this game, when this came out, I was, I was saying before, when this game came out, I was 14 years old, and it was just different than anything we had ever played before. It blew my freaking mind. Just all the little details about it. I didn't think anything could get more realistic than this. I was like, this is the most realistic video game. But, obviously, it just kept going. It just keeps going. Technology keeps getting crazier. Oh, shit. Hi, Misty. So yeah, this was 2001. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Triad. I think that was a triad. I don't want any fucking problems right now. I just want to go. Let's get Misty back to Luigi's. Nice. Fifteen hundred bucks in the bank. Let's go. Ah. So the goal here is to. Uh, ow. I'm gonna need to go freaking get my car resprayed real quick. The goal here is to work our way up through the city to the point that we are in good with everybody that we can be, and we have a lot of money. Let's make that happen, shall we? First things first, we're working for Luigi. I'm gonna park all the way off the street so we don't get fucking honked at again. <sighs> don't spank my bitch up. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girl down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. All right, that's doable. I like that that guy sound. He always reminded me of John Leguizamo, even though I don't think that's who it is. I think that's just who the voice actor was channeling for this this part. But it sounds a lot like John Leguizamo to me. Alright, let's go. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. I got a job for the Mafia. Taking out a freaking drug dealer. And it's funny because this seems kind of repetitive. This is all the game is. It's just driving, doing little missions here and there. But it was, like, so ahead of its time in the realism of, like, wow, it's three-dimensional. We're driving around... All the Grand Theft Autos before this were top-down, so they were like two-dimensional games. Okay, what's up, buddy? You got a problem? Oh, and this is how I lose the Karuma. God damn it. Oh, well. I forgot to put the Karuma into storage. I usually like to try and save that first car, but whatever. We'll go back and see if it's there still. I doubt it will be, but you never know. Okay. I'm not sure if any of the music in this game is copywritten. I don't think so. I think it's all old um, rock star music, but at the same time, I still don't want to uh, push it. Go in here. Get this thing resprayed. Now 
Luigi has a brand new Mustang. Once I get it back to his lockup. Carefully, carefully. Uh. Booyah. $4,000 in the bank. Alright, now let's go back and see. I highly doubt it, but maybe the Karuma will still be there. If not, maybe we can find a cab. Because that's my, my next favorite thing, is you should find a nice yellow cab. Preferably the newer one, because the older one has bad suspension. Not bad suspension, but just very springy. See this one right here? I could take this one on cab missions, but that suspension on that just kills. <clears throat> it's a great way to start the game, though, and... You learn your surroundings, you earn a little bit of extra money. There's lots of reasons to take a cab for the first... In fact, let's do it. There's a good one right there. Stopped at a red light, it's perfect. Excuse me, sir, sorry. Yeah, I apologize, but I need this. Alright, so now, I'm going to drive away from that guy so that he doesn't get super pissed. I mean, he's already super pissed, but don't want him to take the car back. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to go, boom. Alright. Only one kind of music works for taxi cab missions, and that's MSX FM. So, let's see if we can get to that. Where is it? There it is. Alright. Excuse me, excuse me. the way this is not the way god damn it wait four three two one zero oh I was right there ah, that was that screwed me hold on let's see this again all right someone come pick me up first let's go pick someone up let's go this guy right here Alright, where to? 35 seconds, let's go. Fuck. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm doing it stupid. <laughs> Barely made that one. Alright, let's go. If we can get to the next to the last fair, we're good, but oh fuck. Excuse me, 
in Chinatown, you're just going straight up to the police department. traffic every time. Oh shit. Oh god. Let's focus on the radio. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Getting squirrely. Gotta watch out. I don't know if you can get copyrighted for this because it's not really music. It's, or I mean, it's music. It's just it's not really like. It's, it's all one song. Oh, alright. That's it. It's over. I'm gonna end it. $3,000. $3,000 dollars $3, and a nice little understanding of where I'm at in the world. You know what I mean? Like you get a much oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I gotta go. I hit the cop. That wasn't good. Let's get this fucking star here. There we go. <coughs> Drive Misty for me. Combo. What am I gonna do? Wait. Hey, 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 I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick. I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage and threaten and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. All right, sounds good. So basically, the whole thing is they're just rewarding you for being loyal. Don't go, don't go messing around. Just instead, oh shit, go do the job you're paid to do. And in this case, what I'm paid to do is go drive Misty over to Joey's. First, I'm going to get this cab fixed up. <clears throat> OK. 
Come on, Misty, get in. Auto painting. acting and <clears throat> the writing in general is a little cringy nowadays, but this was so cool in its day. It's just like, what? I, I, like I said, I'd never seen anything like it. It blew my mind. Okay, I need to get back to Luigi's real quick because we still have at least one more mission for him. I think two more missions for him. I figure we might as well get finished up with Luigi before we, uh, before we call episode one. Pump action pimp. Okay, I remember this one too. There's ammunition, there's a Diablo car, there's two things in one one quick little little cutscene. Look out for these cars, because this is the bad guy. And here's the gun shop that you need to go to to get some some shit. Shit. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I didn't want to do this with a freaking with a freaking tail. This is not good. Okay, I lost the cops. Get off the road, motherfucker. Got them both. Yes. Stone Cold G, let's go. We're out of here. And the pistol is now in stock at ammunition. Let's go. Let's see what else Luigi needs done. The fuzzball. I think this is the last one we do for Luigi. Bad for one day's work for this guy. Alright, so here's the goal. We're trying to get all of them. 
the goal is you want four, but I think I can get all of them. So let's do it. <clears throat> Especially in a cab, let's go. Four-seater, we should have no problem. Hello, ma'am. Hop on in. Excuse me, Diablos. Don't mind me, I know I just killed one of your boys, but you know, uh, it was a business thing. Okay, we're going over here. Okay, let's get one more and then we'll head over to the ball. I got one coming over and one right now. Alright, let's do it. Policeman's ball, here we come. Don't hit the policeman. Don't let them hit you because they do crazy things like that. They will literally instigate an accident and then fucking chase after you afterwards. Okay, alright, we got this, we got this, we got this. Okay, there's three. God, move! Oh my god, my cab is not doing too good, but that's okay. We got this shit. Take the right route so that the last ones are close by when you need them. Okay, I think we're doing good. I think we only need like a minute thirty to get the last two, so we should be okay. Hopefully, let's see. Yeah, okay, there's six. These last two. Here we come. Easy peasy, let's go. Too easy. Bump bump bump. Da ba da bump bump da bump 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 da bump bump bump. like that, I think we're done with Luigi's missions all together. I'm going to take the cab. Actually, I'm going to put the cab in lockup so that we have it. You never know when you need a cab. It's a good thing to have.
and we'll save. Slot two. Bum 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 ba da ba bum 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 ba da da bum. City is so cool, man. It, like I said, it blew my freaking mind as a kid. Whether or not my little 14 year old brain was ready for it, I don't know. But either way, it's one of my favorite games. That concludes the Luigi saga. the heck? There's so many new little details in this version. This is GTA 3, the definitive edition. Different, de blah, 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 the definitive edition. Um, it got a lot of flack when it first came out because everyone was like, this is the same company that made the mobile games, and oh, this is just a port of the mobile games, but actually it's very clearly a, a pretty decent little remaster. It just had a lot of glitches to deal with at first, but I think they've dealt with most of those, so... Now here we are in Liberty City, the place where my video game addiction really started. Hey, get back here. I want that Mustang. It's amazing that that worked. I would have just stepped on it as soon as I felt someone's hand on my shoulder. I'd be like, oh hell no, you're not touching me while I'm trying to drive. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh god, okay, these ones are really squirrely. Gotta remember, they're back heavy. So when I slam on the brakes, they're gonna really go. Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Mike Lips last lunch. Cabby, I know it's always you guys, but it's just the way it works. Also, these uh, these cabs are really nice and agile. I'm hot tonight. A bunch of these, I don't know if these were even real songs. Like this might have been a real lady song, but I don't think so. Mike Lip's car and fit it with a bomb. Part of that's gonna mean we need to park up over here. Don't mind me, Mike Lips. Been used. Okay. <laughs> I literally know all the radio commercials in this game. I know all the frickin' DJ banter. This was... I spent way too many hours of my life playing this game as a young man. Okay, wait. Now we're going down here to... 8-Ball's Bomb Shops. So if you remember 8-Ball, who had the, uh... Who had the bandages on his hands. Bomb shop. <clears throat> you kind of get an idea of why he was in jail and why his hands were fucked up. Okay.
Okay, now the question is, can we do this without a scratch on the car? Because that's the real thing. They're going to throw traffic at us. People are going to swerve out. All these cars are going to turn. There's going to be people flying this way, flying that way. Wow, actually, it's nice and smooth today. Usually, I swear, they try to make this mission harder than it needs to be for you. Carefully, carefully. Oh, I need to activate the bomb. Yeah. Hopefully I'm far enough away. <laughs> Let's get into my cab. you explode. It's too perfect. Ooh. Ah, cool. Ten grand. No biggie. Oh god, this cop saw me and he knows that it's me. I was going to go to the pain spray, but now I don't need it, so that's good. Cops left me alone in the end. Oh, pardon me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hate it when trucks hit you. That's the worst because they're so big and they really do have a lot of momentum. The physics in this game, was the, that was the other thing that really kind of blew my mind, is the, the, the steering and the car collision physics and all that was just so well done for the time. The damage on the vehicles. Farewell, Chunky Lee Chong. Okay, I gotta be careful for this one. This is usually the first one that I Chunky fail. Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Columbia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort okay. yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. Hopefully, I can take out Chunky Lee Chong before he even gets to his car. Because I still have the shotgun from that pimp that I killed. So, we're gonna go for that first. And hopefully, this works the same. Actually, you know what? Chunky's car? <laughs> We're gonna metagame right now because I happen to know that Chunky's car is parked around the block. And he's gonna come get in this car and try to take off on us. And I don't want that to happen. So we're gonna go this way. Don't mind me, just a guy with a shotgun. Just a guy with a shotgun. Alright, which way are you going now? Let's go. He's gonna run. He always runs. No! Get off me! No! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can, maybe I can chase him down with a gun. Oh no, where are you going, Chunky? Come on, fucking move! I got triads chasing me and shit. <gasps> they killed me. 
Mother fuck. Like I said, this is usually the one that I end up fucking failing. God damn. <sighs> he always has to run. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Let's just go take Chunky out. You know, what's weird is this car moved. Did you notice that? I parked right here, but no matter where you park, it seems this car is just somewhere else. Okay, let's try it with this. Alright, punk noodles, let's go. Stop, you motherfucker! Got him. Huh. Oh yeah, those triads are still pissed. I gotta go. If I had any stamina, I would be running right now. I'm sure they're still chasing me. Yup, there's at least one still chasing me. Back up. Everybody just back up. <sighs> My cab's still here too. Good shit. I have three bullets for that, three bullets with a shotgun. <sighs> Good lord. <laughs> I'm not in service today, sir. That guy's trying to hail a cab. Oh, it might be too late to go to Joey's. I think he only goes from 5 to 21. Let's see. Nope, we got this. What's next? Alright, we're gonna hit the payroll van. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail. Then take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now it won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. Alright. Not the easiest job. We gotta actually use another vehicle to get this thing, but we'll do it. Come on. Need so much damage before it goes. I don't remember how to freaking do a drive by. Gonna keep going in circles, huh? Too, huh? Kind of old to be doing this job, don't you think? Ah. Be 
easier to do with a bigger truck. If I had like a big truck, oh, I gotta go. No, get out, get out. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> well, never mind that then. Alright, we got this. What that short hat makes. Because we believe music should be short. And hot. Sorry, I need this. Alright, let's go. I think this car might be heavy enough. So close. It's fucking shit. Come on. Gotta hit this thing really hard. a van. Oh, shut up. Uh, come on. Oh, this is good for us. You just bail, man. You don't need to be part of this. You could just give up and give me the give me the damn van. Okay, let's go. We got this, we got this, we got this. <laughs> okay, as long as they don't fucking destroy the truck, we're okay. I had nothing to do with it. See, the cops saw nothing. <laughs> That's one thing that was always kind of weird about the game, but I liked it. Like, as soon as the mission's over, it's just like, alright, all is forgiven, you're good. El Burro wants to offer you an opportunity. 
get to the payphone in Hepburn Heights if you want more info. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. The game doesn't end until there's only one man left standing. See what I mean about the suspension on these old things? They like, they kind of hover in a weird way. Hepburn Heights is the park that's down here. Ow, the triads are now officially pissed at me because I killed Chunky Wee Chong. Turismo. how you find out about street races, but I'll take it. Let's see. Let's see if I can find a good car for this. Oh, what do you know? A decent car for this. I know the Diablos won't be happy about it, but I will. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, god damn it. It was so promising. That's okay, that's okay. We're gonna find a nice car and we will be ready in just a second. Oh, that's not the car I want, actually. I really don't want to take a fucking bottom heavy Mustang. <clears throat> See if I can't find another car, a better car. If nothing else, I could go get myself a Mafia Sentinel at least. It's a good car to start with for something like this. Here, you you guys, let me help you. Let me, here, get, get out. Let me help you. Let me just help you here with this so you don't seem to know what you're doing. <clears throat> Alright, we drive straight up here. This van is surprisingly fast. I should just take the van. Straight in here. Mafia Sentinel. Fuck. The streets are still wet. God damn it, there's not much traction right now because the streets are still wet. It's important to take note of for the race. Fucking Christ trucks! Jesus Christ, dude. Nobody in this fucking city trying to fucking cooperate with me here. Let's go. Do this. Shit. 
Shit, 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 shit. I'm gonna fucking lose to this guy. No, you don't. No, you fucking don't. Hit that van and fuck off. Fuck, 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 no. No, 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 no. Can't let it happen like this. Motherfucker. Aw, oh, dude, he fucked my car, too. No, god damn it. Give me the shit. Ah, it's over, man. I'm not gonna fucking catch up to that. Shut up. Jesus Christ. That sucks. Fuck. Well, fuck that, I guess. God damn it. from the payphone. Yep. This is El Boro on the DM. All right, El Boro. Let me find a good car this time and I'll fucking take that shit. Can lose this car this time. Even though it's raining, this thing is fucking bottom heavy. You say whether you're Diablo or whether you're old, don't come with no bad vibration. It will do you no good. Go. Come on. No. Liberty City, arise. Shut up. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's go. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, dude, no. Come on, stop spinning out and fucking go. Dude, this fucking blows. I don't know what kind of car I'm supposed to use for this. If I'm supposed to wait till it stops raining or what, but this fucking sucks. Jesus Christ, dude, move. 
everybody get the fuck out of my way. Fuck, dude. We've officially reached the part of the game where it starts getting really fucking frustrating, I think. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And it's gonna blow and I'm just gonna be stuck in it. Okay, cool. Fun. Wee. Oui. 